Hello Pisces and welcome to your February 2021 mid-month reading. This is for Pisces. Pisces, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Pisces, this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Pisces, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Pisces out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So, however, it resonates with you. This is for Pisces. What is going on with Pisces? What is going on with Pisces? Okay. Okay. So this is somebody from your past that wants to come back around. Um, somebody that um, either you walked away from them or they walked away from you. And there's this huge feeling of rejection here. Okay. Um, I honestly think that you feel very rejected by them and... you're very hurt by that okay so maybe they let you walk away they let you slip away but there was some conflict here there was some ego going on um swords right mental conflict even so you know they they let you slip away and you know maybe you feel um very hurt very rejected by this particular individual but they're coming back around all right so five of swords that is air energy be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart there is a big time attraction here um, lots of chemistry between the two of you um, male or female doesn't matter they still are um, they still want to pursue you, right? Um, the two of you have shared a significant history together. That's what I want to say. And this person gets uh, really caught up in the memories of you, um, Pisces. So they're thinking about you. They want to return to you. and But you have been so hurt by this person that your defenses are up big time okay yeah you could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with strong Capricorn in their chart so they are a bit obsessive um, in regards to this situation with you thinking about you obsessively wanting to uh, return to you obsessively wanting a second chance obsessively um, they were quite toxic it was a quite toxic situation but there's history here, right? Um, it's going to be up to you if you if you want to let them back in, right? If you if you feel like they've changed, right? I feel like um, this is for some of you, not all of you. Probably, I'm going to say a history of third party situations, a history of putting you down and making you feel less than that kind of thing right so um this is somebody that you may have uh got a legal separation from or a divorce from that's for some of you not all of you you can be dealing with a libra or somebody with strong libra in their chart but this person has um, some major apologies they're going to say that they've learned some lessons here they regret um, letting you walk away, and I feel like I feel like the universe. I feel like karma has kind of uh, even the odds for you. Like wherever they went during this time apart, 
wasn't what they were expecting and they got a little bit of uh, a dose of their own medicine that's what i want to say um so karma um divine justice has not been in this person's favor but it's going to be in yours and this person is going to um come back with some significant apologies you are going to have to decide on what you want to do here with this individual all right so pisces i'm going to read the energies of the cards if the sign of the person that um you are dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future if their sign pops up all the better keep in mind time is fluid cross watchers keep in mind some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so heart of the reading we got the four of cups here so um you i feel like you felt rejected by this person in the past with their their behaviors right um you felt less less than they really did a number on your self-esteem and your confidence and things like that and you felt this sense of rejection from this person like i said they let you slip away and it, it's almost like they quickly moved on to something someone else and that made you feel even worse um but that's that's on them right they had some toxic behaviors that they had to deal with but you did internalize that and you had to kind of um realize exactly what was happening here and realize you know that it wasn't really you it was them um but this person's going to be coming back around here in regards to apologies and you very well may reject them okay so you may turn the tables on this particular individual the challenge here will they be focused on you will, will you be their one and only if they do want to return they probably talk a good game here are they going to put the time and energy and effort into the situation will you allow them to work on it will you allow them to make you offers um can this be fixed can we can we even attempt to work on this or is there too much water under the bridge so to speak right eight of pinnacles that is earth energy here's you right the wounded warrior so you got to decide if you're going to let your guard down um or keep these boundaries up around you because this person did uh, i mean they did a number on you they did you dirty plain and simple and you're wondering like why are they what's going on here why you know you're side eyeing this person like why are you coming back why are you trying to you know saying all these things why why are you wanting to apologize what is going on here right so you got a lot of questions here and the advice here is to kind of keep a healthy boundary between you and this person um until you know you can see things clearly and they they show you you know are they the same person or have they really changed because i feel like in the past they presented you it's like they presented you with you know this right here you know this person that's got it going on they are very passionate and they just you know male or female doesn't matter but be and they were just you know this amazing person this is why you were so attracted to them but what was really going on with this person was you know this was really them and this was a facade and so you got to take your time and see if if they've really changed if they've grown up if they've shed a lot of these negative tendencies and behaviors so that's where this judgment comes in yes they're going to want a second chance but you are going to have to decide and it's going to have to be a very careful decision here on your part okay so the outcome here is they're returning they think about you they think about the good times they think about um definitely with this like this 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 attraction that they have for you i feel like the two of you shared a lot of good times physically there's a good you know history of that okay if you follow what i'm saying and i feel like a, a lot of that is what they're very much focused on they think about those times when the two of you were 
together, together, okay? Um, but they do, you know, the two of you have history here and a lot of a lot of good times and they're trying to focus on the good times and they want you to focus on the good times. Six of um, cups, that is water energy. All right, please clarify that six of cups for Pisces. Please clarify that six of cups for Pisces. Yeah, so they're going to come back around and say that they have changed. They are ready to settle down. They are ready to uh, make some major moves and make you some major offers here. So they want you to see the change that they, the changes that they have made, right? They're going to say, you know, I've learned a lot of lessons here and it's grounded. It's solid this time. They're now they're coming through as earth energy where Let's build on a stable foundation now, Pisces, right? Let's be together forever. This person has those offers that they can say, you know what, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. But do you trust it? Um, take your time and see, right? Are they sincere? Are they for real? Have they really changed here? Could be dealing with an earth sign or somebody with strong earth in their chart but they're here to offer you forever should you choose to accept it should you choose to be open and vulnerable and trust this person again all right let's pull some romance angels this is for Pisces what is going on with Pisces what is going on with Pisces? What is going on? Okay, so very soon you're going to have to decide, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. They want to spend their life with you. Okay. Is this your forever person? Is this past person going to be your forever person? They feel this true love connection with you. But can they, can they, you know, come back from, from what they did? Is it too much water under the bridge or are you open to this? This is what you're going to have to decide. So Pisces, big decision on your end um, could change everything. They've tried to change everything. They've definitely tried to elevate themselves. So, um they've never been able to forget about you and they don't want you to forget about them ever either okay so that's what's going on they're coming back around and you're gonna have to make that decision right and it could change it could change everything so Pisces that is your reading I hope um, it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. Please do follow the links that I provide because there are some imposters out there. So um, make sure you follow the links that I provide down in the description box or in the about section of my channel. Um, there are also some scammers out there uh, pretending to be me and other readers and they'll get in the comments and they'll send friend requests and they'll do all this and that and the other thing. Offer free readings and all this. It's all a scam. I do not offer personal readings, so be very much aware of that. And um, they're doing it to everybody, you know, so you guys be very much mindful of that. All right. Um, what else, Pisces? Next week, I'll be working on the March 2021 future love readings. And for those of you new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I usually go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. All of that information can be found down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel. You guys take very good care of yourself. I hope you're staying happy and healthy out there. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. God bless.